Hey everybody, Ryan McCaffrey with IGN. I am joined by Fred Laporte from 343 Industries, and uh, that's a mighty familiar looking Jeep you're driving there, Fred. Yep. We brought in the War Dog this time around. So uh, we're looking at a brand new Halo game, Halo Spartan Strike. You've been working on this, I presume, fairly secretly while uh, another couple of big projects go on yep. up there at 343. Uh, so tell me about, uh, obviously, you know, uh, a lot of us played Spartan Assault uh, around almost this time last year, last December. This looks certainly familiar on the surface. Mm -hmm. What is different this time around? So basically this time around, obviously, as you can see, we got the War Dog in. Uh, we're also introducing a new vehicle in there, uh, which is the Kestrel VTOL. Maybe we'll have time to look at it uh, in a few minutes. Um, we're also introducing uh, something you're not seeing on screen right now, which are the Prometheans. So how about we just jump to that right away? Let's go do it. Uh, in the meantime, so... Uh, this is out, you mentioned to me, off-air December 14th. December 12th. De sorry, December 12th. Yep. It would be help if I could type. And it is, <laughs> and it, when, is, when in the Halo universe is this set? So we start our events in 2552 during the same events as Halo 2. So that was a very familiar sounding year. Yeah, in uh, New Mombasa. Uh, you start there, you're trying to recover an artifact that the Covenant are running after to uh, invite their Promethean friends in. Um, you lose the artifact and you lose the team that was looking for it. And five years later, in 2557, hmm. you're actually going to go and um, unexplored territories in Gamma Halo and New Phoenix. Interesting. Uh, what else here? Uh, which, I guess, we're playing right now. Uh, obviously, I can see. The viewers can't. Yes. This is a, a Windows Surface device. Correct. Uh, what platforms is this going to be hitting? So you're going to be able to play this on Windows 8 platforms, uh, Windows Phone as well, and it's also coming out on Steam at the same time. So no uh, no iOS or Android to start with? There's currently no plans for that. No. Or, or Xbox One or 360? Neither. All right. We'll keep our fingers crossed that maybe, <laughs> not unlike Spartan Assault, that that will happen in time. But uh, actually, you did. I, I had a chance to play a little bit of this. You're, you're doing the driving right now to show off the game, but yep. uh, it felt a lot better to me than than Spartan Assault did uh, primarily because you can see what's coming through on the video, those yellow circles on the side of the screen, those are your, uh, what you can't see are your virtual thumbsticks. Correct. Your, your thumbs are there. So uh, you can put your fingers pretty much anywhere and drive the game, correct? Exactly. So, um, you know, we, we spent a lot of times working on refining the controls. Um, that was something that, you know, the community mentioned a lot, even yeah. the reviews. And our goal was really to make this the premium uh mobile device experience. Um, also note that uh, the controls are somewhat different, uh, for example, on phone uh, due to screen size. Mm -hmm. um, so we can, you know, instead of having buttons like you have on this one, uh, on the side of the screen, you see where you see the hand and yeah. uh, the stuff swap, then uh, on phone, you can actually just tap on the weapons to do a swap ah, okay. uh, and stuff like that. We've also made a uh, grenade throw uh, precise. So that was one of the things that people struggled with because you kind of double tapped and it went somewhere. Yeah. Um, now I'm going to get it back in the face because of this watcher. Um, <laughs> they're, they're, in, they're annoying yes. little guys on any platform. So yeah, so we've improved that a lot. Um, fidelity as well of what you're doing and where you're aiming uh, is much improved. Well, this is all going to say, we're obviously we're seeing Promethean weaponry in action here. Exactly. Um, let's see. What else can I ask you about? Uh, price for this? Yep, that's coming out at five ninety nine. All right, six um, bucks. Can't beat that. Yep. If you buy it on uh, Windows devices, you get them across Windows devices. So if you buy it for phone, you get it on PC as well, or on tablet. Uh, and then Steam has its own uh, version at five ninety nine as well. Okay, I can work with that. And Steam is fully integrated, so you have Steam achievements. Uh, there's no Xbox Live login in there. Got it. Okay. Uh, and then it, is it similar to Spartan Assault in that is it around a five or so hour game? Uh, actually, Spartan Assault was more close to three to four. This three one four. is four okay. to five. So All right. uh, we've expanded the maps a lot. We've made the maps bigger uh, and just more immersive as well. Right. What else can I ask you about? I mean, uh, do... One thing for me playing through Spartan Assault, I wanted more vehicle stuff. Yeah. Is that, are we getting more vehicle stuff in this one? Yeah. Like I said, you get uh, the Warthog, obviously, which is a new one. You get the Kestrel, 
uh, which I'm going to show you right now. Excellent. Um, and all the previous vehicles are coming back as well with improved control also. Um, but yeah, this one, I think, oh, I know cool. people like the Warthog, and I understand why, and it's a whole lot of fun. Yeah. But this one is just, it's just very interesting, and it has that awesome shooting sound, uh, which just <laughs> makes you feel like you're really gunning down Prometheans. Uh, allows you to break down doors like this. Um, this is one of the later levels, so there's a fair chance I'm going to die here because that's one of the <laughs> things we did as well. Uh, people felt that the, the game wasn't getting progressively uh, harder, yeah. so we worked on that to try and better balance the curve of difficulty. Um, so yeah, this is a bit later in the game, and you know, first door wasn't too bad. If I go a bit farther, uh, I might get in trouble pretty quick. So if I see if I see this Kestrel in Halo Five, I'll know where it came from now. <laughs> yeah, I can't comment on that. <laughs> I know you can, but uh, it's at least gives you. An, it, it's got to be fun to at least play with a new vehicle, right? Design something. Oh yeah, it, new. It, this one was a blast, um, and I still remember the day that we first put in the audio for those cannons, and I was just <laughs> I was screaming like a little girl. Uh, what else? Any? So you guys probably have some achievements in here, I'm guessing. Correct. So we have uh, 20 achievements, um, and like I said, you're going to have Xbox achievements on the Windows platforms, mm -hmm. and you're going to have uh, Steam achievements on Steam. Uh, on the Windows devices, you also have uh, three of those achievements, which will be uh, will grant you entitlements in Halo Master Chief Collection. What does that mean? So. Uh, there's uh, new content in multiplayer um, where basically you can get an emblem, okay. uh, an avatar, and a nameplate that are going to be uh, Halo Spartan Strike themed. Got it. All right. That's cool. Does it go the other way? Yes, correct. Uh, you can also get, on the other side, you'll get, let me just clear out some space here. Nice. Um, you can also get... Uh, additional in-game credits uh, to purchase uh, power weapons and uh, special abilities um, which by the way that was one of the things in the first one people didn't like the microtransactions so those were removed uh, everything you buy is with in-game currency and that's what you get uh, with those three achievements from uh, the, the Master Chief Collection. Removing microtransactions Correct. are always good words to hear. <laughs> Uh, we listen to people. That's the thing. Like our main focus on this one was really, really listening to the fans and also listening to uh, the reviews out there. And then any uh, obviously, you know, you guys added some co-op multiplayer for the console versions. Is there any, you know, uh, over-the-air multiplayer going on for this one? No, there's no multiplayer on this one. We okay. decided to focus on making a great single uh, single-player experience. Got it. Well, let's see. Uh, oh, any more? You know, I saw. You know, the, the health, some abilities there. Yep. Anything new going on in that department? So that's the teleport. <laughs> like uh, this? Yes, instance. correct. Uh, so basically, we have kind of like three categories. Uh, some are offensive, some are defensive, and some are... There we go. I told you this was so a It's a, a real demo. It's not... Exactly. There's no god mode, no nothing. Yeah. So uh, the teleport was one of those escape uh, yeah. type of abilities. Um, so, yeah, that was one of those ones. All right. Well, have we have we hit on all the high points? Yeah, Any we pretty little? much did. I Excellent. Think. Well, this uh, this is looking fun. This would be a good. Uh, the surface actually is. I I found it to be a uh, pretty sweet platform. Actually. Yeah. So if you've got one, this is definitely a game to keep an eye on. It is Halo Spartan Strike coming to uh, Windows devices as well as Steam in December for six bucks. Fred, thanks very much. It was my pleasure. And for more on all things Halo, you're already in the right place here at IGN. <laughs>